gonna pass this test. Um, I'm talking about DNA. Cause okay. DNA stuff is like real bad, hard. Oh, yeah. Cause we doing um. Okay, y'all, let's study. I want to pass this test. Same. All right, who's the most confused? Well, definitely me, because I was at a concert for three days, so I don't understand half of this stuff. What is one thing you don't understand? What, um, this question from the study guide, how do you determine the function of a mitochondria and why the cells need them? Okay, so what do you already know about the mitochondria? Well, it's it produces energy. Yeah, this used to confuse me too, but I used to study them to help me remember it. Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing a collaborative study group for our biology test. What is that? A collaborative study group is an avid strategy where we bring our point of confusion to each other and then help each other through our pre-confusions. Do you want to join us? Yes, please. I am so confused trying to study by myself. Hey, so what are you most confused on? Um, I'm confused on what is the structure and function of DNA. Collaborative study groups allow students to focus on individual points of confusion while helping one another by asking leading pertinent questions. This helps you figure out the answer rather than you just giving one answer, which means you are more likely to remember the information. The next time you study for a test, instead of trying to figure out everything on your own, try using a collaborative study group.